Followed by two month exhibition at the Chesterfield Museum and Art Gallery. And this is the first Chinese project doing partnership with the local museum. So, man, this is the first project we are very uh, proud of. So, and we are looking for more diversity um, heritage to do all together sometime later. Uh, we, are, we are happy to be the first one. Also, as the many guests today, uh, we have to do some care before we uh, go outside to have the ribbon cutting. Today we have the Council of Mr. Hutton, yeah. Assistant Portfolio. Yeah. <laughs> and Mrs. Benedict Wainwright, Town Centre Promotion Manager. <laughs> and uh, more important is Mike Hayden, the head of Regeneration. <laughs> Okay, uh, and very knows the creator, our support supporter of the project. Yeah. And uh, very, another very important partner is the Linda Dawson, the head teacher of the, uh, the White Gold Palm School in Chesterfield. <laughs> because a lot of the children and the parents this evening, and uh, we also have the Colin Heights. Important person, the accuser from the University of Leicester. Well. And uh, also, uh, the last is the chair of the Chinese Study, Patricia Law. <laughs> she is uh, one, one of the very important um, committee <coughs> workers in the uh, Chinese community, not only in Chesterfield, it's in the whole UK, because she's the only one and the first one lady who got the award from the Queen's in volunteering in 2000. The main thing of the project, just three, the first is to conserve the heritage and history. The second is to learn and understand what they are, where, why, where, and how. And the last one is to enable all the public to gain access to this history and heritage and we all share the experience and know about the heritage. Yeah, welcome and Mary Lowe, character of the Chesterfield Museum and Art Gallery to give it a source of it. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to welcome everyone to Chesterfield Museum this evening. It's lovely to see all these people here, and particularly pleased to see the children whose work we have on display upstairs. I hope you like what I've done with it, that um, you will be able to enjoy looking at it in the, in the Art Gallery. It's been a very interesting project to, to work on. Uh, I always say that I always come to work and I learn something new every day, but I have certainly learned a great deal working on this project about the history of Chinese people coming to Chesterfield, coming to the UK, and what their lives were like when they first arrived. And so I'd like to thank Patricia and Terence for sharing that knowledge with me, um, and it's something certainly that I hope that you will enjoy finding out about as well. So thank you very much. Like the exhibition upstairs, I'm looking forward, if it's at all possible, to hearing some of the voices at some point. Who knows? And just to finish off with, um, my sister has married a very nice Spanish man. She lives in the south of Spain and has two daughters. And for a special treat, when they want something nice to eat, where do you think they go? Of course they do. They go to their local Chinese restaurant <laughs> in Spain. That's their treat. So it's not just here in Chesterfield. I thank you very much. So, it's a video of the certificate. First, I uh, welcome uh, Patricia, the chairs of the Chinese Specialist UK. Uh, 
uh, the first we are going to have some special plans to celebrate your modern partnership. The first one is our uh, Andrew from Chesterfield to Sarah Nakari. Okay, this way. Also, our tutor, Colin Pazis. We come to the second this stage is the presentation of the certificate from our tutor, Colin, to some of our <laughs> certificate from the University of Leicester. We have their name on. Okay, I just love for you. Uh, yeah, I just hear a lot. Yeah. Okay, I see. 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 Donovan! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Four similar certificates. <laughs> My last three is at uh, the University of uh, Sheffield. Yeah. <laughs> if the uh, 100 pounds is not enough, you still have another 100 pounds to serve for the transport as well. Depending on how many people come here. 